Following the synodal path and inspired by the celebration of the manifestation of the risen Jesus to the two disciples of Emmaus, Franciscans, local Christians, religious and pilgrims gathered for the solemn mass in the shrine dedicated to this biblical event at Emmaus al Kubebe. According to the scriptures, two disciples were on their way to a village called Emmaus, about 11 kilometers from Jerusalem, and they were talking among themselves about everything that had happened. While they were conversing and discussing together, Jesus himself approached and walked with them. He explained to them in all the scriptures what referred to him. When they were near the village where they were going, he made as if he had to go farther. But they insisted, stay with us, for evening is coming and the day is now setting. When he was at table with them, he took bread, recited the blessing, broke it and gave it to them. Then their eyes were opened and they recognized him. And they said to one another, were not our hearts burning within us as he talked with us on the way when he explained the scriptures to us? I two disciples of Emmaus have met Jesus, but at a certain point, their journey... The disciples of Emmaus met Jesus, but at a certain point their journey was overshadowed by the death, the passion, the violence inflicted on our Saviour. Discouraged, they headed back to Emmaus, but on the way they met Jesus. They recognized him in the breaking of the bread, they accepted his word, and so they become witnesses of his resurrection and of his love. I testimoni del suo amore. An attitude of listening, like that of the disciples, is the invitation that the Synod addresses to all, because, as Pope Francis states, a synodal church is a church that listens. In the shrine of the manifestation of Jesus, a beautiful image recalls the moment when Jesus breaks bread with the disciples on the road to Emmaus, sharing that in this celebration takes place through the Word and the Eucharist. The homily was delivered by the Latin pastor of Jerusalem, Brother Amjad Sabara. We are in Emmaus the day after Easter, and here we try to contemplate the priorities of the Synod, Communion. This is the best time for the person to reread this story as a story of salvation. This is what Jesus did on the journey with the disciples. He heard their complaints, their expectations. They did not understand. In fact, they thought that God could do everything according to their way. Here Jesus made them understand that everything does not happen in a human, personal way, but that scripture must be reread. Here everything has been prepared, prophesied. Participation is born here. From the breaking of the bread, the Eucharist, from the rereading of the Bible, that helps us discover the salvific meaning of our earthly life and also from knowing how to share it with others. For a synodal church, communion, participation and mission, this is the theme of the synod and that the Franciscans present in Emmaus al Kubebe, a village whose majority of population is Muslim, try to put into practice every day. Today is the feast of Emmaus al Kubebe, which is really important to us because it comes the day after Passover. We meet Jesus here, who comes to hearten the two disciples who had fled Jerusalem because they didn't feel safe. So Jesus makes himself close to the man walking in this life today. His speech given to the two disciples is very important for me, as I live here in the midst of all Muslims and only one Christian family. After the sharing of the word and the Eucharist, at the end of the celebration, Jesus' gesture of sharing and bread with the disciples was performed by the vicar of the custody of the Holy Land. And it was a nice day for me to be blessed from the holy people that they are here. Today the Mass was wonderful, we really enjoyed it.